strange relationship for a very long time uh -huh. because I, I we were very close friends for for the longest time you can imagine while well, we're in politics both of us and at, at one time he was supporting Mudavadi another time he was supporting uh, uh, Wetangula another time he was supporting Raila now it's uh, Ruto you remember one time he brought a motion on, on uh, to try and impeach Ruto and, uh, Ruto and throw him out of the house and uh -huh. I was on the chair that day uh -huh. so I was asking him uh, Bonnie what's the matter he says look he gives everybody an opportunity, and, and this is the opportunity now for Ruto. So, <laughs> in a sense, he's talking about how fair he is uh -huh. in his determination of who runs for the presidency of this country. Anyway, having said that, the issue is where is the source of the money? And who has the legitimacy? Who has the right to cast the first one and say that the source of my money is A, B, C, D? Uh -huh. And that includes also the deputy president. Because the deputy president is a very, very wealthy man. Uh -huh. And we, he is a very young man also in addition to that. This is the man who was, uh, when I first came into parliament, was part of the YK92, mm -hmm. uh, which is- A youth the, wing of Kanu. A youth wing of Kanu. Uh -huh. and, and, and right now is, is one of the richest men in the country. Now, whether all that money was made through uh, insurance brokerage with Amaco and, and selling uh, a, a chicken, uh -huh. In, in, in the bus stations or Matatu stations in, uh, in Eldoret is a matter that uh, we would want to see that economic model, that what you call business model itself. Uh -huh. As a student of uh, somebody who has done MBA, <laughs> I would want to see that miracle and that magic, how it was, everyone was able to pull it off. Now, if you want to plunge this country into a class war, uh -huh. like you say in law, you want to come to equity, come with clean hands. You do not start casting, casting, casting uh, aspersions on others when you know your own backyard also is is is, is thoroughly suspect. Uh -huh. So yes, the class war is being is being is being waged right now. No, I think the very people who are waging the class war uh, are, are thinking that everybody else is an idiot in this country that they can cheat them and, right. and create a create a scenario which or rather a, a psyche which will exclude them. It will not exclude them at the end of the day. But, but having said that, I still come back myself mm -hmm. to what I had said before, that look, we have had the constant bombardment of these prejudices for all this long time. Mm -hmm. The mountain has had the prejudice that you give this leadership of this country to somebody from Nyanza province. These are people who do not want to work and they will end up taking what we worked very hard for ourselves. And that was sustained for 60 years, close to 60 years. To try and debunk this now in two years, three years, uh -huh. is a tall order. All right. The only reason, the only reason why uh, Ruto is winning in Central Province is because it's, it's by default, basically. 